Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lydia and today I'm gonna to be doing some lounge fly reviews. I have got two bags to share with you. Yes, not just one bag, but two. They are non-Disney bags, but I thought it would be really cool to share them with you because they are film related and these films mean a lot to me and my family. They are very nostalgic. We did buy both of these bags from Truffle Shuffle. I will leave their website down below. This is not a sponsored video, an ad or anything anything like that. I just absolutely love this website and we basically have bought all of our lounge fly bags from this website. So the first one I'm going to share with you is the one that we got towards the end of 2020. I have no clue why I haven't shared this bag before on my channel or on my Instagram. So definitely make sure to check out my Instagram. I will have a link in the description if you want to see this bag on my Instagram because I'm definitely going to take some photos after I film this video. Now that I have rambled on far too long i'm going to show you the bag and i'm going to do a little review for you this is the amazing beetle juice bag if you do follow me on instagram then you will probably know that i am a massive beetle juice fan i really love the uh, musical version that they have done on broadway but i just absolutely love the original film um, it's very nostalgic for me and my family. We would always put it on when we were little kids. It would scare us a lot though. Um, but I'm so happy that like I grew up with watching Beetlejuice because it's such a great film. Yeah, if you haven't watched Beetlejuice the movie, go and watch it after you've watched this video. Um, but yeah, this is the bag. How amazing is it? So it is your kind of standard lounge fly bag size. So you've got the pocket at the front here and then you've got the like classic logo at the top. It just says Beetlejuice Loungefly and it's got like a green background. And this is the pattern. I think we got a pretty good placement. Um, obviously we couldn't choose the placement because uh, Truffle Shuffle are like just a, a website, an online website. Um, but I think the placement is pretty good. Obviously they are kind of cut off at the bottom there, which is a bit annoying. Um, but you've got all of them on there, um, on the front, so that is pretty good. Apart from Adam, where is Adam? No, we don't have Adam at the front anywhere. Oh, that's a shame. But you've got you've got all of them there. You have got Barbara there, which is is good. So yeah, we're only really missing Adam. Oh, and the lady, what does she call like the receptionist? I forgot her name. Um, but yeah, we don't have her at the front either. We do kind of have her at the top there. But yeah, the placement overall is pretty good and we are kind of happy with that. I didn't realise that Adam isn't on the front though, but oh well, he is still there at the sides. But yeah, this is what the pattern looks like. Um, so obviously you've got the plaque there, you've got the stripes. So the stripes on the pocket go horizontally and then the stripes just on the uh, actual bag go vertically. You have gray and white stripes, obviously. And then this is the kind of um, drawing design. So yeah, this, this bag is really fun. It's really cool. And what I love about it is that the zip material is green. So it's kind of bright, like neon green in a way. And then the zips just say lounge fly on them and they are all like silver. This is what the side looks like. So there you can kind of see Adam and the uh, like reception, like secretary woman. I keep forgetting her name. This bag does not have side pockets, um, which is which is okay. Um, Cause you do have this front pocket here and you could fit like quite a few bits and pieces in this one. Um, you have the uh, black hook there. So you can hook it onto something if you want to display it like that. And then the straps are black, which I really like. They are the padded material. Obviously we haven't used this bag just yet, but I'm really excited to. Could you imagine using this bag at Universal? That would be absolutely amazing. Then let's open it up. Actually, let me show you the inside. I don't think I've seen the inner lining. Or if I have, I genuinely can't remember. Oh, cool. This is the inner lining. I don't think I have seen the inner lining of this bag. Um, so I'll just take out the foam. And that is the other side of the pocket. So it's just a green and like a dark gray stripe, which I think is really cool. And the green matches the green of the zips, which I think is really fun. This is just like such a fun bag and I absolutely love it. So 
there's more. Ah. There we go. That is it. Okay, so there, there is a zip. There is a zip on the inside. I don't think I've ever taken the stuffing out of this bag. There is like a zip there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is at the top here and it is like a closed pocket. Um, so there is a zip, which I think is really nice. The pocket is fairly small and it only goes down to like halfway of the bag. So you probably only be able to fit like maybe your purse, your phone, like your park tickets, that type of thing. If you're taking this to the parks. Uh, yeah, it's not like a big, a big pocket, but it is there. I hope you guys can, can see that it is there. And then that is the lining of the bag. So it's the same lining from the pocket. It's green with uh, gray stripes. And then it has like this kind of like, um, I don't know, like reptile kind of design in places where it's kind of like dots together to represent like, I don't know, the snake, like scaly kind of skin. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can kind of see that there at the top here it's really really hard to show you with this bag because this bag isn't very like movable it's not very flexible compared to some other uh lounge fly bags but yeah the kind of green like reptile sorry the gray reptile kind of design is that i think that's what it's meant to be so yeah overall i absolutely adore this bag we adore this bag we are definitely going to be taking this when we go to universal next time because it's such a cool bag absolutely love it i love the color scheme i love the fact that there's green in there i love the design of it it's just so fun and so cool so yeah i definitely recommend getting this bag if it is still on truffle shuffle i'm assuming it is but if it isn't um definitely make sure to check other websites um for it because it is absolutely amazing especially if you are a big beetlejuice fan this one is definitely for you then the second bag is another really cool bag this one again we got in march so last month and it's just so cute and adorable and again this film is a film that we grew up watching me and my brother is very nostalgic it's such a classic film as well so this is the marshmallow man bag lounge fly bag from uh ghostbusters obviously look how cute it is so it is white obviously because he's a marshmallow and then he's got like his kind of sailor gear on so you've got like blues and red design um, he's got his little hat here which is like a 3d element which i think is really really cute and this bag is like so soft the finish just feels a lot different i don't know why like the leather just feels different um so yeah this is the bag it is so cute and obviously we're gonna have to be very very careful with this bag because it is white the bottom is white like it's just white pretty much all over so um ow <laughs> So, um, ow. <laughs> just hit myself. So yeah, we're gonna have to be very careful when using this bag because we don't want it to get dirty or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna have to make sure he's clean a lot of the time. He's, he's so, so cute though. Like, just look at him. He's got his little face there in the black stitching. And then you do have a pocket at the front which is kind of the same size as the Beetlejuice one. And you've got his like sailor kind of gear there. Then the sides are just like this. Um, you've got the logo there, which says Ghostbusters. You've got the Ghostbusters logo. It's in black and then it says Loungefly at the side. This bag again, doesn't have side pockets, but that's absolutely fine. And the finishings on the zips are silver as well. You've got two zips at the top for the main bag. And then you've got one zip for the pocket. I'm gonna take the really awkward foam out of the pocket again. It's so tight. Okay, this pocket is like the same size as the Beetlejuice one. Um, so again, you'd probably just fit maybe your phone if you wanna put your phone in here. I don't usually put like valuable, like really valuable stuff in the front pockets. I usually put like, I don't know, lipstick, lip gloss, um, hand sanitizer, face mask could definitely fit in here. This is like so hard to show you what it looks like on the inside. Oh, there we go. You can kind of, 
<laughs> you can kind of see it there. Um, it just says stay puffed there. And then you have it in like white, white background with blue writing. Um, and then it says marshmallows. And then you do have the marshmallow man there. You can kind of see him. The hook is red. And these straps are like the kind of um, blue, uh, like purpley blue color. It is coming off like bright blue on camera, but it is more in person. It is more of like a kind of purpley blue color. So that's all of the stuff. I think there is a zip pocket, again, like the uh, Beetlejuice one. Um, and then this is the design. So you can kind of see it there how cute is that it's very like cartoon style very fun and i just absolutely love it it's so cute and the zip pocket again doesn't go down to the bottom it goes down to like halfway so again you probably just maybe fit your phone uh, maybe keys and that's probably it because it is a quite a small pocket but I do like the fact that there is an, an inner pocket in there to keep like your kind of valuable safe. So yeah, I really, I really do love this bag. This bag is absolutely adorable and it's just very like nostalgic. It does like transport me back to being a kid and watching Ghostbusters. Um, obviously it, it used to scare me a lot as well as a kid. Uh, the same with Beetlejuice, but it's just like these two films, the Beetlejuice film and the Ghostbusters films, are just like so nostalgic for us um, and we just like remember watching them as kids and we've just continued to watch them as well as we've grown up so um, yeah these bags are just so suited for us um, and I'm really happy that we have these in our collection but yeah those are the two loungefly bags that we've purchased from Truffle Shuffle and I just I just love him I just love them both because they're so like nostalgic for us and I just adore these two films, like with all my heart. They are so, so amazing, so cool. So if you haven't watched any of these films, go and watch them after you've watched this video. And definitely let me know down below if these bags are on your wish list as well, or if you have these in your collection. Please make sure to give this video a little cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you liked these bags. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Loungefly content from me, so like Loungefly reviews, Loungefly collection videos, and just general Disney content as well. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Make sure to let me know down below which one was your favourite. I just love them both. So I can't, I really can't decide which one I love more. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next one.